Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Today, we are going to be exploring printmaking using potatoes. So in case you don't know, printmaking is where you make something that can make the same image over and over. We usually see those when we see stamps. This is a really cool activity and it uses very few supplies. And so we're gonna go over those each one by one. First, I have half of a potato. As you can see, I've had an adult cut this in half for me with a very sharp knife. And then for my carving tool, I'm using a plastic knife. Now, if you don't have any plastic knives lying around, a butter knife will be fine. However, I do not recommend using sharp knives because they are too sharp and they will cut too deeply. Using a butter knife or a plastic knife is the perfect way. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some finished examples and then I'm gonna show you some tips. For my stamp, I decided to do a cat. So on this one, I cut all the outside away and that way I was able to do details in the middle. On this stamp, I cut the inside away so it's just the shape of a cat. Then to follow along with my cat theme, I did the word cat. Now, from my video, it looks like the word cat. However, if you're going to do letters on your stamp, you need to do all of your letters backward and your word backward. So let's talk about how to make a stamp. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to think about what image we want. Do we want something that represents us, the first letter of our name, something like that. I am going to do a set of whiskers with a nose to continue with my cat theme. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little bitty rectangle or triangle right here for my nose. Now you can see I'm just using the tip of my knife. It's okay if it doesn't go deep, because all you're trying to do is get that first layer in. Now, I'm gonna use my knife as sort of a digging tool. Now remember, this is a plastic knife, so it can't hurt you. And I'm gonna dig up the potato inside of my triangle. And then there we go. So I've got my nose all carved out. Now, I usually would tell my students, don't go deep, because if you mess up, we just cut away a slice. However, with the ink that we're going to be using today, I'm gonna say, go deep this time. Okay, so I'm trying to get about a quarter of an inch deep. Okay, so you can see about how deep that is. So now I'm gonna get my whiskers in there. Now this is like making a V. So I'm going to cut into my thing and then I'm going to sort of side cut into that line. And then that is going to give me a nice little stripe. So I'm gonna do three whiskers. Get that out of there. And one more. Come on, come little whisker. Okay, and then I'm gonna do three whiskers on this side. I'm using my V slicing skills. Remember, slower is better. And you'll notice that I'll have a napkin laid down here to catch all my potato pieces. So then I can just wad it up and throw it away. And then there's my third whisker. Now you can tell that they're not the same place. They're not even. And that's okay because we're just trying to have fun. So there's my stamp. Whoop, there we go. There's my stamp. It sort of looks like a spider actually. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to sit it down on my napkin for a minute and get some of the excess water out. Okay, so I've got all my water out. I'm going to take my paper. Now this can be any type of paper, newspaper, construction paper, anything that you want. Now I have crafted my own paintbrush here, but the first time I did this, I used my fingers. So what you can see is I've got a little clothespin or you can use a, a chip clip and I just put a um, cotton ball at the end of it. You don't wanna use those, that's fine. You can use your fingers, whatever you feel best. And so for our paints today, 
I raided my fridge. So this is some hot sauce from Texas, some barbecue sauce, and then I've got some Dijon mustard here. So we're gonna use, we've got three different colors that we can mess around with. So I'm gonna get some Dijon mustard on here and I'm gonna try to get it on the places where the potato is still stuck up. So I don't wanna get it in my creases, but if I do, that's okay, because I should have gone deep enough that it won't matter. So there we go. I've got it all covered. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it down. And there we go. So then that one didn't show up very well. So I'm gonna try one of my darker colors. And since they're all in the same warm color scheme, I'm not gonna switch cotton balls. Now you can do this with whatever sauces you have at home. If it's an especially muddy day, you can go outside and get some mud and do it. You have paint at home, you can do it with paint. Okay, that one came out a little better, but you can see right here where these big thick lines are that some of the paint got inside of my lines. So let me show you what you can do next time. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna swish it around, get my paint on there, my barbecue sauce. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my knife back and I'm gonna go over my lines. Let's get this in camera. Go over my lines and get all the sauce out. There we go. Try it again. All right, much better. So last of all, I wanna try one of my hot sauces. I'm gonna do it with a different stamp. Oh, that looks really cool. I don't know if you can see that really well. Let's try it with the barbecue sauce. Ketchup works really well. Regular yellow mustard works really well. Anything you think of that can have colors works really well. Okay, so the goal of this assignment is to experiment with mark making. Now, once these are dried, I can go back in and color them in, do really whatever I want to with them. If you go and color them back in, that makes them a mono print because that makes that print different, just in case you wanted some more art terminology for you. Okay, and so here's my cat word. There's my cat word. Oh, my tea didn't come out the best. Let's try that one again. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Boop. All right. Okay, so now just so you all are aware, I don't like wasting things. The sauce, it's had cotton in it. It's 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 gone for. But tonight for supper, I'm gonna make some shepherd's pie and I'm gonna use these potatoes for the mashed potatoes on top. So that way, even though these potatoes have been cut on with a knife and dipped in sauce, I'm still gonna use them. So here are my final projects. I'm probably gonna stamp them a couple more times. I can't wait to see what you come up with. So make sure that you um, show us some examples of your stamps. I hope you have fun.